So, I haven't done a beauty video in a very long time. So, hopefully, reach somebody and it's appreciative to somebody. Because, girl. Welcome back to my channel you guys my name is Barack McCann and I simply keep it chic over here and today a Sephora haul so I want to talk about the things that I bought right here you're gonna see that it's a little mini clip of me showing proof that I haven't bought anything in a year I wanted to show y'all what I bought simple but what I spent at Sephora was $130 for just literally a handful of things that's the only thing about buying luxury makeup i sort of hate like you can buy three or four things and that's gonna be way beyond 100 something dollars and it's crazy but some of the things i got this is new stuff other things is basically things i just needed to renew because i don't use that much makeup okay and then the way that I found my lane as far as putting on makeup, it's not that much. Let's start with like the facial skincare stuff. It's only two things. I only bought a cleanser and a toner. So if you don't know, this is the First Aid Beauty Fab Face Cleanser Pure Skin. So I have heard about it, um, tested it out, I needed something new as far as a makeup cleanser like it's to take makeup off if that makes sense because I found out makeup wipes are bad for your skin which I still to this day I, I've heard why but I just feel like it doesn't make sense still but I was like you know what I'll I'll stop doing it what I use so I don't even use wipes no more and if I do use wipes it's more so for probably like a business situation or I'm out after I took pictures just trying to wipe makeup off and just feel free for that you know for the moment so I haven't used this yet when I do I will let you know I promise so the next thing I bought which I'm pretty sure everybody has been picking up I didn't buy the dewy drops but I bought the toner so this is the glow recipe y'all see me if y'all don't y'all don't okay anyway so this is the glow recipe watermelon glow pha and bha pore type toner as you can tell I used it a little bit so far I don't try to put too much so far I actually do like it a lot I enjoy it toner was never Toner was a part of my skincare, but I didn't use it for skincare like that. It wasn't a priority. So now that I know that toner is a priority for your, your regular, you know, skincare routine, I decided to get this. And I was going to get the big bottle, but then when I was in line at Sephora and I saw like it was a mini version, I was like, oh yes, let me buy the mini version because I'm still on this journey of finding different things that will react to my face fine or react to how I want it to react like if you don't remember months ago my face was looking dull and I and you know what the crazy part is I just went back to the things that I told y'all originally in my skincare if you did not see my skincare review I'll put it up here somewhere but yeah I need to just buy more of my Valjean stuff because my Valjean stuff and then like with this a part of it so these are the two things I have for skincare basically that was that for skincare because everything else I still have still so let's get into the makeup it's not that much but the thing I do use you know what I'm saying like I said I don't have to buy so I'm just happy that what I use for my foundation is still at Sephora so I'm glad about that I finally feel like a woman because <laughs> I bought the big size of the milk hydro grip primer let me tell y'all something I've always bought the little travel size that's probably like this big I guarantee you I'm probably not gonna have to I'm probably not gonna have to buy nothing in a long time and I know people like you're supposed to throw your makeup after a certain while even what I use for foundation I don't use a cream I use a powder actually without this the powder just just 
I, I just look dull without this. So if you're looking for a primer, I know people like, oh, everybody knows about it, but it's probably some people that don't know about it or probably don't believe it. I'm I'm telling you, this is from a person who don't wear makeup like that. And if I once I do wear makeup, it looks like I'm wearing so much makeup on, but I promise you. I don't wear that much makeup and this is what helps me I'm telling you so if you don't have a primer or you're trying to search for one get this I'm telling you what's next I wanted to I'm into cream blushes as well I like I, said, I don't use that much blush so the blush that I do get you know I just pat or you know and then brush you know make sure it's smooth out I wanted to, so I have a pink, like a pink purple, um, like a, a mauve pink type of pink blush. So I wanted to get into orange blush. Shout out to Nakia for inspiring me to finally get an orange blush because I was trying to find one y'all and I found a coral color. So I found this, this is Tower 28 or 28. This is in color beach please golden hour or is it beach please and then the color is golden hour one of the two but anyway this is for it's like i said it's cream it's, it's it's cream so it's either for blush or lips i'm gonna be using it more so for a blush for the summertime and once i you know use it like i said i'll let y'all know how it is yeah I think I, I'm really excited to use it and I like the packaging. The packaging is cute because it's like it's simple. And also, you guys, both of these, I want to, yeah, milk too. These two are vegan products. So just FYI, if you're vegan and you're looking for makeup stuff, these two are vegan or, you know, it doesn't have all that extra extraness in it. So the next thing that I bought that I needed, I needed is you can tell I have dark circles and seeped eyes so I bought the concealer I had this concealer before but after Jackiana shout out to her improved the formula and extended the shades I never went back and bought it so this is the new and improved born this way concealer contour highlight retouch whatever you need to use this for um, I decided to buy the big bottle this is in the color butterscotch I know a lot of people use butterscotch I guess but I didn't realize how many people buy it because I had to go to like two or three Sephora's just to find this and this particular color because they had everything else but they just didn't have this so like I said when I use it I'll let y'all know how it is but yeah like i'm just happy that i bought a big concealer stick because that's crazy the last thing that i bought was more mascara the mark jacob black lashed mascara the packaging is cute right now this was originally 27 dollars. this was mark jacob's regular you know regular lash i just got it because it was on sale and I need a new one. It's 27 originally. It was on sale for $16. So I needed a new mascara as well. I had so many old mascaras that I was just going in and using. I was like, I need a new one. So that's what I bought for my Sephora haul. And then for my birthday, they had gave me a NARS little shimmery lip balm that I use daily now. And this is supposed to be like a a bronzer but it's literally the same shade as me I know it looks dirty a little bit because I legit you know try to test it but I use this by the grace of God I got something to use this right here it's just naturally just a little lip balm you know so it's a little like a why not situation so yeah that's what I bought for my Sephora haul like I know y'all like that wasn't a lot but it's a lot for me because I had dumped out so much of my old makeup so now like I'm telling y'all like I don't even have that much like I don't have that much anymore so thank you if you stayed all the way to the end and I want to say put the notification bell like I said again 
and subscribe to my channel please it's really 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 thoughtful and I really appreciate you if you do and also follow me on all my social media platforms at she simply chic and of course subscribe to my actual website at she simply chic.com so uh, thank you again and I'll see you later bye